Hi, friends. Happy, what day is it, Tuesday? Never mind my hair and my face. I um, am still got yesterday's makeup on and I just took my hair out of a bun because it was killing my head. Um, I got some new MDF in today and I wanted to come on and paint it, test it out with you guys because um, I've not used it before. So that's what I'm here for today. And also to show you these cute new ornaments that will be coming to the website soon. Um, so this is a test, like I said, it's smoother. It's not the MDF I was using before. It's from a different supplier. So we'll see how I like it. Um, maybe it will work and maybe it won't. Hopefully it works. But let me show you these adorable um, new ornaments that are gonna come to my website soon. Not yet, they're not up yet, um, but probably next week they'll be up. Are you ready? I'm excited. Okay. I have got, I don't know which pieces go to them because I got all mixed up, but I've got this cute little shiplap cow and then he'll have, I'll have to figure out exactly, but I think this one goes to him. He'll have a cute little bow and some greenery. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Tracy, Susan, Vicki. How is everybody? Um, so here's the first one, the cute little cow. And then there is, um, I think, let's see. I think this is the right one. Then there's a cute little shiplap pig. Um, I think I have my animals right, but I suck with animals. This is a chicken, right? <laughs> I think this is the chicken and then this is the rooster, I think. And again, they both have the cute little bows that will go up on top of them as well. So these will come, they'll not, blah, 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 blah. sorry. I'm too excited and tripping over my words. Hi, Linda. These will be available on the website soon, probably sometime next week, um, and they will come as a set of four. So I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna test this out. Hello, Susan. Hope I am too. Thanks, Susan. I am doing all right today, doing a little bit better. This weather, um, this weather is hard for me, but it's been really rainy and just the changing of seasons. Oh goodness, let's see. I don't know what my screen did. It did something funky again. All right, so we're gonna test it out. Hopefully this is good and I didn't make a bad choice to try somebody new. Vicki says they are so cute. Thanks, Vicki. I think they're adorable. I think they're gonna be super fun. I think this is gonna work good. So when I bought this, it says on the M or on the MDF, it says on the website, it is MDF, um, that it doesn't, Oh, wait, how did it say that? I think it says it doesn't soak up paint, but I couldn't get a hold of anybody. And so I think what that means is that it will paint well um, and not take as much paint. That's my thoughts. However, like I said, I don't know, I've never used it. And so I was a little bit worried um, that maybe that means that it doesn't hold paint, but I don't think so. It looks like it's gonna hold it good. So we will see. I'm just gonna do mine in white and then the um, the little bows and floral part will be done in some colors. So there's my little chicken. I'm gonna paint them all. Oops, I went over my edge. My little sponge trick didn't work for me today. Um, I'm gonna paint them all and then see, I wanna watch how, I wanna see how they dry. I just really wanna see how they work before I start cutting customer orders out with this MDF and shipping it out to people. So I don't want to send something out that's not good quality. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, I think it's drying good and everything. So I'm excited. And I get super excited when I get these fun new things. I've got a couple more animal, um, farm animal things that I want to get up on the website soon too. I've just had not had enough time lately to get anything done. I thought with my son being gone on his trip that I'd have so much time, but I still, still have the same amount of time really. <laughs> 
All right, there's our little pig. I think they're so cute with the white. And then when we get that colorful, I don't know what you wanna call it, like hair piece on them, I think they're gonna be absolutely adorable. It will just dress them up a little bit. And they'll look so cute on your Christmas tree. They were gonna be um, in Yellowstone all day again today and they don't have any service in Yellowstone. So I haven't heard from them. I did get a few pictures this morning. I talked to Preston, he was pretty crabby, um, but that's to be expected. They've been really busy. So there's our little cow. Um, but he's supposed to call me tonight, no matter what time it is. They didn't call me last night because they didn't get into their hotel room until like 11 o'clock our time. And I go to bed at like eight o'clock. So they were trying to be nice, but I did stay up last night waiting for a call because I figured they'd call because I didn't get to talk to them all day. Um, and so I stayed up probably until about 15 minutes before they called them that, or they didn't call, they text. She did get service and she had texted me, but I didn't get it because I turned my um, notifications off on my texting at night. So I was kind of bummed. And our little rooster. All right, so I think they will take I think they're painting good, guys. They're gonna need another coat still, I think. Um, but they painted pretty darn good. So the difference is, this is really smooth, and the other MDF that I was using, it was smooth too, and it painted really good, but it was not as smooth as this. It still had a little bit of a rough surface. But I think this is gonna be good, so. Let's see. Let's do, I'm gonna do these all green to start with. I made spaghetti on my lunch break today and I made enough for dinner tonight too and I'm so excited because I'm starving right now. So when I get done here, I am going to eat some more spaghetti. I'm gonna use this forest green. I don't even think I've opened it yet. All right, and I'm still gonna use my little sponges here. Oops, maybe not, let me get some on my plate. Oop. Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Look at what I just did. That big glob of paint right there, total waste. I only needed a little bit and it just came pouring right out and I couldn't stop it. It's all right, I'll have to come down here and paint some more in a bit. I have a friend coming over to work out in a little bit, and then I think that we're going to go for a little walk. And then after my walk, I'll come back downstairs and work on some projects. There's our little, it's going to be red, I think, in the middle I'm going to do, but right now I'm just painting the whole thing green, and then I'll worry about going back over it and doing the middle part red when I'm done here. But I have to say, so far I am impressed. This is working out good. I was a little bit worried, like I said, because I do order it in bulk. I don't just get a few pieces. I get quite a bit when I place an order. So I didn't want to have a whole bunch of MDF that was unusable either, but you never know until you try, so. Right, one more of these. I think I'm gonna run back over one more coat of white on um, our little animals and I'll show you. I see we've got a few new people on here. Hi, Erin, hi, Susan. Um, I'll show you again what I'm doing so that you can see. All right, so these are not on my website yet, but they will be available shortly, probably next week. I got a little cow, a rooster, chicken, and a pig. 
So, and they're Christmas, they're ornaments. They've got a little hole in the top, so they will hang from your Christmas tree. So I'm gonna move those all out of the way, and then I'm gonna go back over and do a second coat of the white on everything. I don't remember what I started with. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I think they're all dry anyways, so. So far, I think that this is painting way better even than the other MDF that I was using, and I loved that, so. That says quite a bit. Little cow. Can you guys see? I mean, I'm not really doing a tutorial or anything. I'm just here to kind of chit chat and show you my new um, stuff, but I wanna make sure you can still see a little bit of what I'm doing. I will be on Friday morning to do a tutorial and it's gonna be a cool one. But I did just ship one out. I had, um, and I realized that the boxes that I ordered for shipping are not big enough for that project. So I did take them down from my website for now, Friday's project, um, but I'll have that back up soon, as soon as I get the correct shipping boxes in stock don't want to sell something I cannot ship out. Oh, goodness, flipping, flipping stuff over here. I'm almost done with this part, guys, and then I can show you what the whole little set looks like. Who loves farm animals? I love the farm animals, and I love the shiplap look, so uh, these are super, super cute, I think. And I know it's not Christmas yet, but just joining, where did you find these animals? I actually cut these out on my laser and I will be offering them on my website soon. They will be available soon. So they're not up yet, but probably next week. And they're little ornaments. All right, so I think the green's good. I don't think I need a second coat on that because I kind of like the color the way that it is. So I'm gonna move the animals out of the way again. I'm gonna get some red paint out and I'm actually gonna use my paintbrush for this part. Let's see, I'm gonna use a little round one. And I'm gonna get some Christmas red from Anita's is my favorite. Susan says, very cute. Thank you, Susan. And I'm just gonna try, try, bear with me. I don't know how this will work. Sometimes my hands are a little bit shaky. Oh, what does this one go to? Oh, I bet you it goes to this guy. This is, yes. Okay. Anyways, what I was trying to say is I'm going to try to stay in the lines. Not in the lines. There is no lines. I'm going to try to stay in where the bow would be so that it doesn't look sloppy. And it'll probably need a second coat of the red over top of the screen, but that is okay. Got some, got some where my green should have stayed green, but I can fix that too. There you go, it's got the little bow and the greenery, and that goes on my chicken, or my rooster, I believe. So I'm gonna stick that next to him. I'm gonna try to figure out which ones go where. I think this one goes to, 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 to my cow, that goes to my cow. That one goes there. I mean, it probably honestly doesn't even matter, but I don't know, I think that's kind of funky on this one. I wouldn't personally put it that way. If that's the way that it's cut to go. 
And there's not really another way for me to move it without it. It is what it is. We're going to go with that. Good afternoon, Andrea. How are you? Oh, shoot, guys. I just dipped my red brush and my green. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Tomorrow, I know I said this the other day, it's been so stormy and just crappy weather. So um, we've had a lot of hail. So I moved my car into the garage where I was working on my porch laner. Um, so I have not done anything with that. But tomorrow, I'll probably bring you guys along probably um, while I paint my porch laner. I think that will be my plan as long as we don't have any stormy weather. I am doing all right tonight, Andrea. Thank you for asking. Yesterday was rough, but today is better. The weather's a little bit better today. I'm kind of making up where the bow would actually be as I go because it's really hard to tell. There's no lines on here, so. And because I painted everything green, it all just kind of blends together. Sorry guys, just trying to concentrate and see if I could make a, a bow shape there. One more and then I'll line them all up and show you what they're gonna look like. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is kind of like a bow tie looking thing. It doesn't have like the bottom part of a bow. What do you call them? Like the little, I don't know. Maybe they don't even have a name. All right. They definitely do need a second coat, but just so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, you know what? I bet you this guy goes over here. Huh, I had him wrong. This one goes over here. So this is for my little rooster. That's what he'll look like when he's all done. I'll just glue them together with some E6000 and then put a string on them and he'll be ready to hang up on someone's Christmas tree. Um, let's see. And I thought I did so good picking out what went where. Aha, that's why the pig did not look right to me and that's why, because I had the wrong one. So here's my little pig. And the cow I believe is this one. Yep. Oops, he kind of shifted on me, but there's my cow. This is my favorite one. I love pigs, but I love that cow. All right, and then my little chicken. So, aren't those cute, guys? I'm gonna go back over it real quick. If you wanna hang around, I'm just gonna do the last little coat of red on them all, make them a little bit brighter, because um, right now they're a little bit too burgundy for me because I went and painted them green first. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it just seemed easier than trying to keep it all separate when I was doing it. So maybe if I do these again, I will not do that. I'll paint. Oh, it looks like, I think this will be fine. The second coat I think is going to take care of that. But if you wanted to avoid that, you could just paint the red part of the bow red and keeps the green separate there i think it looks better it's a little bit a little bit brighter if you can see that Ooh, you guys want me to show you i didn't 
string it all together, but I can show you the door hanger that I painted last night for the class in the harvest group. Metallic. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, Vicki. I don't think I have any metallic red. I, I need to go to the store and get some paints. When my mama gets home from her trip, we're gonna have to take a trip a day and go to the craft store to get some paint. Um, let's see, this one's next. I'm just painting them the one, the, not that they have to go in any order. Um, just painting them as they're drying. So that's why I said this one was next because it was drier than the other one. The other one still got some wet spots on it. Is drier a word? It's probably supposed to be more dry. All right, got one last one to do here and then I'll go grab that hanger and show you. That's all painted and I got it all glued together. It's sitting over there drying and then I just got to string it together and hang it up. But if you didn't get in that group, you can still get in there and watch the replays. And today's only day three, so there's still presenters going um, for the rest of the week. We've got somebody every day through the 20, no, what is today? Is the 14th, I think through the 19th or the, maybe it's only the 18th. I think it's the 19th though. All right, let me go grab that hanger real quick. Just a second guys. This is what I painted live yesterday or last night in the Creative Harvest group. You do have to register, but it's free. Um, to get in there, we just need you to register to let you into the group. So once it dries all the way, I'll let it sit for 24 hours so that none of the 3D pieces slide off. Uh, let me tip you down. I can't even tell. Oops, I gotta move my comments. There we go. Now I can see what you can see. So it'll have it'll have the hat here, and then I'll tie it together to the broomstick, and then the broomstick will tie to the bottom. And it says, if the broom fits, ride it. So isn't that super cute? I might add some polka dots to the, the hat. I'm not sure. I might just leave it alone now too since I did do my, Lisa says it turned out so cute. Thank you, Lisa. Hi, Lori. All right, I'm gonna go put this away back flat to dry. I'm gonna line these little buggers up again and just show you real quick for anybody that's just hopping on what I just painted. And they're not up on the website yet, but they will be soon. I'm hoping to have them up this weekend. They're still, the red paint's still a little bit wet, so I'm trying to be careful so I don't smear anything all over my white. All right, let me tip you down here. Whoops, I'm open the comments again. There we go. So that's what I did today. Just some cute little farm animals on like a shiplap background. Thanks, Lori. Debbie, thank you. Um, but anyways, that was it. That's all I got for you tonight, guys. So thanks for hanging out with me. I will probably, probably, but not guaranteed, be back on tomorrow. And I'll probably take you guys outside in the garage with me to work on um, my porch leaner that I keep telling you I'm going to show you. So I will probably do that in the afternoon after work sometimes. So make sure you're following me if you want to get that notification. You guys have a great evening. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.